Hey y'all, welcome back. Here we have the Kenwood um, BT328U. I picked this one because, you know, it has Bluetooth. Nobody plays CDs anymore. Um, I've got my old 79 Bronco here. It's got a piece of junk deck in it. Today we're gonna swap that out. And we'll kind of do a mini review on this Kenwood here. I've been a Kenwood fan for years. So we'll see how that goes. Um, it's got a bunch of features and whatnot. Pandora, Bluetooth, made for iPhone, iPod, um, yada, yada, yada. I'm trying to remember, does it say on here? Is it 30 or 50 watts a channel or something like that? Uh, we'll get into that in a minute here once we get it out, but here's how the box is. Let me take it out and I'll show you what's in there. Links down below um, if you're interested in anything used in this video, by the way, and I'm trying my hand at filming on my GoPro 9 Hero Black, so let me know if this is working good for you guys as well as me. All right, here's everything you get in the box. So here you have a mic. I do not know what you'd want that for. Well, I have zero interest in it. Um, you've got the tools for removing it once it's installed. Um, you've got the plug for the back. So you've got your, it's labeled here, antenna. If you have a power antenna, steering wheel, remote, mute button. Um, then these other ones like purple, gray, white green will be your speakers and then you've got your red power and this one's probably the switchable um, deal you got a manual here this is 50 watts by four by the way i did look it up here um, it's a nice looking unit uh, like i said here's the piece you're going to install in your dash so not having a cd player it weighs literally nothing and it's very small you can see it's not very deep because there's no cd player which is fine Here's how everything goes in the back. There's a little fuse here. Here's where your antenna will go in. And then for amps, you've got your RCAs and whatnot there. So this does have a removable face right in this corner. You push that little button down then that comes off. And then same deal to install. Little door here, you've got your USB plug in and then looks like a headphone jack. So enough of that jazz let me get the uh, old one out and we'll plug that baby in there and get going from there so as you know you simply put these in this hole and then you figure out where these will be and you'll bend these tabs up and that'll kind of suck this into place and then you'll slide your radio down into there but uh, let me get my old one out and then we'll go from there Okay, we've got the old deck laying on the ground here. I just kind of cut a bunch of the wires because that thing was a piece of junk and it's going in the garbage. Some of the buttons didn't work anymore and all sorts of other issues. Anyway, so to get the old mount out, I used, some of them I used a little flathead screwdriver and you can kind of get in there and pry them up. Some of them were really bent way far, so I used this little pick and you could kind of get it down in that hole and weasel it around the other way enough to use that little flathead screwdriver. So. There's a little tip for you on getting that stuff out. Now you just gotta kinda make sure all them little tabs are bent back up. We'll just kinda work it back out. And boom. Now we can reverse the process and we'll put the um, new mount for the new radio in there. And then we'll go to hooking up these wires. So. Clearly we've got some custom wiring. I mean, what do you expect on a rig from 1979? What else is in there? So, let's get her done. Okay, here we've got everything hooked up. Here's the plug, so white, green, purple, gray, all go to the speaker connections. I just hooked them up, same as the other ones. So, you know, black line to black line, not to not. Ground is the black, obviously. The blue antenna one is going to the amp. That's the, gonna power up the amp once you turn on the radio. Um, the yellow is battery, and the red goes to ignition. Then you got your uh, RCAs and your antenna connection. So, uh, we're gonna hook it up now and hopefully not let all the magic smoke out. First, we'll get this in place. I just didn't want to fight around that with all the wires and stuff, right? I don't believe there's a top or bottom to it. So 
just got to fit in the hole, which is tight. Right, we'll worry about the details on that later. Get my antenna wire out. So we're simply going to just plug this in. Okay, we got that. Let's hook up our antenna. Okay, we got that. And then our preamp. So since it's in the rear, I'm going to hook it to the rear. That's it. Kind of just set it there so you guys can see it. And oh, I suppose we should turn the key on first, right? Oh, something's happening. Here it comes. Fantastic. Sorry about my neighbor blowing all the air over there. Volume knob, set language, press volume knob. English, yes. Cancel demo, yes. Okay, band, source, radio. Hope that shows up and I'll just a little bit of a glare. Oh, this is so much better right out of the gate, guys. You don't even know. Display, radio text, title artist. This is so cool. I have to figure out how this all works. I haven't fully looked at the manual yet. So here's your tune buttons here. Oh my gosh, this sounds amazing. I'm going to turn it off so I don't get in trouble with um the youtubes here but my goodness i love it this is great okay i'm pretty happy with that let me uh, get this the rest of the way installed so we'll hold the power button and she's off turn the key off okay guys uh, i'm gonna get this push the rest of the way in there and then we'll play with it a little more And here we go, final install. Tuck the wires in and kind of squeak it in that hole as best you can. Make sure it's right side up. Bam! Heck yeah, I love it. Look at how good that looks. So good. Excellent. It's on standby. So, radio. Easy to go. Jack Prescott's out there. Didn't remember anything because I turned the power off, right? Or disconnected it. Bluetooth audio. I'm going to get my phone connected. Set the, the uh, clock and figure out how to modify colors. We'll be back. Okay, manual says set the clock, so press the volume knob to enter functions. Then you're going to turn it till you pick what you want. Clock, enter, clock adjust, yes. There we go. What time is it here? 10.42, west coast time. I'll go 43. Clock adjust is done. Date format. Sure. Set the date. Hey, why not? What are we? 9, 5, 21. This is too easy, guys. Clock display. What does that do? 
I want that on. Date format, date set, clock format. Okay, good. So how do we go back? Okay, once that's all done, so here's the back button here. I didn't notice it on there. So clock, ooh, go languages, system. Let's see what's in there. Key beep, on. Source select, Pandora, Spotify, Bluetooth, built-in aux. Firmware update, factory reset, key beep, okay, let's go back, what else we got? Clock, English, Spanish, French, demo, display. Color select, and dimmer, color select, all zones, all zones, variable scan, custom, we can do red, purple, blue, sky blue, light blue, aqua, green, yellow green, this is pretty cool. Initial color, clear is cool. Variable scan is kind of interesting, not my flavor. We'll stick to that one, see what it does. It's kind of a bluey color. There isn't just a white. Light blue is kind of cool. I'm going to stick with that. Text scroll, what's in there? Put it to auto. Tuner settings. Preset type. Normal, mix. Stick to normal. Okay, we're back to the main page. Good. I'm going to get my phone connected and we'll see how the Bluetooth works here. Okay, to pair to your phone, you simply turn the unit on. It doesn't matter. It's still on the radio. And then turn on your phone Bluetooth and you'll see it'll show up a KMM-BT328U. You guys can see here in the bottom anyway. It's hard to see. I'm going to click on that, see what happens. Press volume knob pairing, pairing. So then your phone will ask you if you want to pair, pair, pairing, okay. Then do you want to allow contacts and favorites sync? I'll allow it and I never usually do on anything. It says it's connected. So now do we hit source? iPod Bluetooth. Hey, it's going. Push the side to side for the next song. Shows the song. This is fantastic. Oh, this makes me so happy. <laughs> you don't even know. Here's a pause button. This is great. You guys don't even know how happy I am right now. This is getting a big old thumbs up for me. Then to answer a call, there's the phone button up here. If you want to do that sort of thing. I'm not probably going to do that. And that's the end of the manual on stuff. So, pretty simple. There's probably a couple more little details here and there if you guys can dive into the manual. But overall, I just wanted to show you how it worked. And I'm not going to lie, I'm happy with this so far. Um, time will tell, I just hooked it up, right? But I love it. All right, this little red light here shows you that it's connected Bluetooth to something. So, and this is other jack I was wrong. It's not headphones. This is an auxiliary jack. So if you want to plug something into there, um that's where you're gonna do that so yeah guys i like it
the old Bronco's got tunes in her again. I'm happy about that. Very happy about that. If I can get a good angle to get rid of that glare. I'm really sorry about that. But like, comment, subscribe. Follow the links down below in the description. Let me know what you think if you have one of these. How long has it lasted for you? I am loving this thing. So I'm going to rock out and go for a cruise in the Bronco today. It's not raining. I'm going to take advantage of the situation and let her rip. Um, yeah. Let me know what you think. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for stopping by, guys.